What is going on, everybody? And welcome back to the channel with me, Mrs. E1. We are hopping back into Slime Rancher 2. Finally, oh my gosh, I am so excited to play this game. Um, so this game came out a few days ago, came out to early access. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to play. We actually already had a vacation scheduled and stuff like this, stuff like that. So this is my first time checking it out for myself. And I'm so excited to play. If you guys are interested in checking this game out for yourself, link down below where you can purchase it over on Steam or Epic Games. And if you end up purchasing it over on Epic Games, consider maybe using my creator code, Mrs. Period Z1. And then I'll just give a little kickback to the channel for a thank you for showing you this awesome game and it is very much appreciated it can also be used on any other game and i very much appreciate it let's go ahead let's hop on in and begin our adventure in slime archer 2. like i said this is early access so things are going to be changing content is going to be updating and my plan is to uh, check it all out when it happens okay this all looks good let's go ahead and play As always, if you guys enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a like. If you haven't already, maybe consider subscribing as well. After a long day of slime ranching, Beatrix Lebeau was enjoying a cool glass of carrot juice as she watched the sunset across the slime sea. Suddenly, a boat arrived at her dock with nothing inside but a mysterious letter. You have explored the far, far range from the dusty shores of the dry reef to the furthest reaches to the perilous glass desert. But there are worlds yet uncharted. Beatrix Laboo, Rainbow Island awaits you. Climb aboard if you're ready for a new adventure. Oh my gosh, we're going to Rainbow Island. Beatrix excitedly boarded the boat and it took her across the slime sea. Eventually, she saw an island unlike anything on the far, far range. Mountains, trees, grasses, all in an array of colors that danced and moved like a dream. As she explored, she found an abandoned conservatory overlooking the rest of the island. Curiously, it was equipped with everything a slime rancher like her would ever need to wrangle slimes, start a farm, and build gadgets. And so, a new adventure begins. Beatrix tightened her boots, readied her backpack, and set out to explore Rainbow Island and uncover its mysteries. I'm so excited! Okay, basic tutorials, moving around, WASD. Awesome. Jumping. And sprinting. Okay, we, can, we have a backpack again. Oh, I got a carrot. Okay, so it wants us to feed a pink slime. Oh, let's put these in the corral. And we fed one and we get a port. Oh my gosh, this game looks so awesome. Um, slimes are key to your success. Shoot slimes through a... Uh, barrier on the ranch. Yes. Already did that, but we'll go ahead and do another one. Okay, we got any other pink slimes hiding around here? It does look like we have that. When slimes eat, they make plorts. Head on over to the plort market to cash in your plort. Okay, sounds good. I don't see any other, any other pink slimes hanging out around here. The plort market gives you new bucks for your hard-earned plorts. Shoot a plort into the plort maker market and earn some cash. Okay, so we got 13 coins from that. It is up right now. Awesome. Uh, that about covers the basics. Now it's time to get out there and explore. And no matter where our adventure takes you, always keep curios curiosity and kindness in your heart. Awesome. Okay, we have four pink slimes now. What are we going to do? Oh, look. 
It looks like we have another one of these things where we do uh, like missions and bring plorts and slimes over to other people to get money and stuff like that. That's awesome. Let's come over here. Oh, uh, wait. Oh no, those are just bushes. Okay, let's check out everything. Oh, Roostro. Okay, I'm just kind of going around the area. Wanted to get... Wait, there's another chicken. A hen hen. Kind of getting a glimpse of what we have going on over here. Oh, we can unlock this area. The gully. Okay, so it looks like this will be 1,800 new bucks to expand and we do not have anywhere near that so that's not happening for a while uh expansion to the conservatory is surrounded by tall rock formations and covered in amber grass uh rainbow fields shifting colors like a dream fading just as quickly oh wait this is a lucky slime i'm pretty sure they eat meat okay we found a lucky slime and we got some money from that. Another cool thing I just realized when you pause the game, it actually tells you the day and the time. And I don't remember that happening in the first one. Okay, lots and lots of pink slimes over here. I'm just going to toss these around. See if maybe we can get some plorts. Make us some monies. I don't think we need any more pink slimes in our corral because if they're just going to be hanging out right outside the conservatory, then I'll just come over here if we need pink plorts. That'll free up the room for other slimes. Oh my gosh, what the heck is this? What the heck is this? An upgrade is needed to harvest this. Is that like water or is that oil? I don't know. It looks so cool though. And is this the boat we came in on? I don't think I can do anything here. That is pretty cool. Hello, little slime dude. You followed me down here. Okay, here's another one of these things. Need an upgrade. Okay. Oh, what the heck is this thing? Oh! Chickens! And a cute berry! Awesome! Pink slime just popped out of nowhere. Need an upgrade to harvest that. Oh, oh my gosh! What the heck? What are you? A cotton slime. Oh my goodness. Okay, cotton slimes. They eat vegetables, I guess. Um, what the heck is that? I don't know what that is. A hop, skip, a jump, and oh, it's gone. Okay, we definitely want to grab some of these. Wait, I hear a lucky slime. Oh my gosh, we found two lucky slimes. Oh my gosh. We'll grow. Oh my gosh, and another one! What are the odds? Are lucky slimes like everywhere on Rainbow Island? It feels like it. It definitely feels like it. Okay, I'm thinking we are going to grab five of these cotton slimes. And I've happened to pick up some plorts along the way. That would be awesome too. What the heck is this? Oh my gosh, everything just looks so cool. What is this? E to activate. Accessing gg.log. Well, here we are again. I'm sending the drones out to all their original scouting locations. Once I confirm the conditions are the same, I'll get to work this place. I still remember being in awe of these rainbow fields. It felt like being in a beautiful dream. And I guess in a way it was because it ended much too soon. 
Okay, so that's a research drone. Pretty cool. Oh my gosh, I want to keep on exploring. Some more cotton slimes. Oh my gosh, they're just the cutest things. Oh my gosh, is there a map? There's a map and it's all, <laughs> all like clouded. Okay. I guess we'll at least have a map to get back home because <laughs> my inventory is getting pretty full here. Okay, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and head on back. Oh no, I'm trying to grab these ports. I was trying to grab some cotton ports and it just didn't work out. It's starting to get dark. We can go ahead and put these cotton slimes in our house. Ouch. Oh, no, no damage. Okay, that's good. Let's see, let's check out this map. We need to keep on heading this away. And I think that's home. Oh, look, we could jump across right there, but I don't have a jetpack yet, so we're going to have to wait on that. Let's head on back. Okay, first things first, we are going to come over here and I'm going to turn in these plorts so we can get some money. Okay, so the cotton plorts are up as well. They are 25 a piece. Let's go ahead and sell those guys. I think I'm going to suck up the pink guys. Oh my gosh, we need to upgrade this for real, like immediately. Let's upgrade this to high walls. Uh, it costs 260. We have over a thousand right now. So let's go ahead and buy that. Yes, I want to purchase. Okay, what kind of upgrades do we have? Music box. Um, that goes, that like plays tunes, so it soothes the uh, slimes. And then we have an air net on the top, so we can keep them in. And we have a solar shield for the ones that are only for nighttime. And we have a plort collector and an auto feeder. I think this is good for right now. Got six cotton slimes in here. How cool. And now we have our pink slimes. And we're just going to, we're just going to come over here. And I'm going to let these pink slimes go over here where the rest of the pink slimes are. Lots of plorts over here ready to collect as well. So I like free money. I'll grab those. And let's head on back, sell these pink plorts and go to sleep for the night. Okay, so we have the option to sleep for six hours or sleep until night, sleep until morning. We're going to go ahead and sleep until morning. Morning is 6 a.m. Awesome. Um, Probably should get some vegetables for our little cotton dudes. Oh, look at how cool this place is. Wait, there's a downstairs. What is this? Oh, this is a, like, okay. Okay, so this explains like how to do stuff. That is cool. What is in here? What in the world? The fabricator. The fabricator allows you to craft vac upgrades and gadgets using resources stored in the refinery. Give it a try. Okay, what do we have here? A resource harvester. Um, okay, and so the costs are down here. This one costs new bucks as well as cotton plorts. Adds a resonator to the vac suction me mechanism that shakes loose science resources from the nodes in the environment. Ooh, we probably need that heart module. Um, this boosts our health up. Power core. Oh, this is for the vac pack. And dash boots. That would be nice. Jetpack forger. Oh, we need radiant ore and 
uh, phosphor plorts, tank booster, extra tank, water tank, and a pulse wave. Okay, so we probably should start down here because like some of this stuff we're gonna need to upgrade. We're gonna need this like harvester thing to upgrade some of these other things. So um, we're gonna need 10 cotton plorts, fabricator, refinery, Okay, so is this where, where do we shoot in our plorts? Oh, probably right there. And then we use these to use this to activate to make our things. How cool is that? Oh, this place looks so cool. Oh, we can just like chill and hang out on the couch. Yeah, we don't have time to chill. Uh, Pink Slime just committed suicide and jumped off there. What? How within the heck? How the heck? How do these bunnies get out? Oh my gosh. Do we need a top thing for it? Uh, yeah. I think we need a topper or something because these bunny slimes can jump super tall, super high. And I probably should have realized that when I put them in here because I mean, they're bunnies. Okay, so let's come over here. We need to make some more money. What does it take to have a net on the top? Okay, air net. Oh my gosh, it costs quite a bit of money and we don't have that much, but we need it. We need to keep these guys in here. Okay, that should contain our bunnies. What does it cost to start a brand new corral? 250. Okay, we are going to head on back and we're going to do some more exploring. Okay, so I'm just collecting plorts kind of as I see them. Because that's just free money hanging out here. Or we could put it in the fabricator. We'll see. What is this? Oh, this activates it. So now we can see the map. How cool is that? Okay, map data acquired. Oh my gosh, so many chickens over here. I'm going to grab them just in case we possibly find a Gordo that or requires them. But if need be, I, we can always just, just dump them off to another slime. Oh wait, this is a big guy. Uh, he's gonna need carrots. Okay, do they show on the map? Yes, he shows on the map, okay. Let's see here, let's find... Oh wait, water lettuce! That's his favorite, that's what he likes. Okay, I've never seen water lettuce before, so I did not know what it looked like. We're definitely going to have to grow this water lettuce. And he won't eat chickens, so... Let's just feed chickens to everybody else. There's lots of pink slimes over here. I kind of don't want to give him my water lettuce yet. Because I haven't found any more water lettuce. This is the first time I found it, so maybe it's like super rare. And maybe we need to grow it. Let's see. But I do know if you feed them their favorite food, they don't take as many to pop. But, yeah. I mean, one water lettuce is not going to do much for him. Okay, that's what I think we're going to do. We are going to head on back to our area. Oh, look. I don't think we've been to all these areas yet. Oh, this one looks blocked. That one doesn't look blocked. Oh, maybe it is right there. Um, This one doesn't look blocked. And it looks like we can go... I don't think I've been over there. 
Okay, well, let's head on back. We're gonna go ahead and plant this water lettuce. Okay, let's see here. I think I'm gonna go ahead. We're gonna turn this one into a garden. Costs 250. Let's purchase it and let's activate it. We are going to grow water lettuce. Oh my goodness, that is great. And in order to speed things up, we're just going to go in here and we're going to sleep until morning. Now, let's go check on our lettuce. Oh, it looks like it's all grown. Okay, now we have eight. And you know what? I could feed them to our guys right over here. And they would give me two plorts since this is their favorite food. But I'm going to go ahead and save it for our big guy. Wait, 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 wait. We have our first thing over here. Victor Humphreys. Hello. Hello, Beatrix. Did you, do you read me? Testing, testing. Hmm. Perhaps you are lost at sea. Taken away by the mysterious boat. Never to be. Oops. Nope. Just forgot to turn the display on. Nice to see your face again, Beatrix. I have missed you greatly, my dear friend, and while I am quite excited for you to partake in a new adventure, I already have data that might complicate things. Last night, I received a message from some sort of artificial intelligence program. It's written in code, but not one I recognize. I'm in the process of analyzing it, but I'm certain that this message was sent from where you are now, the mysterious Rainbow Island. So to recap, a mysterious boat takes you to a mysterious island, and I receive a mysterious code from said mysterious island. It all seems quite curious. <laughs> well, I've got work to do, and you best get to exploring. Oh, I almost forgot. Take this home portal. It should make the early stages of your journey easier. <gasps> we got a yellow home, po home portal. Okay, now available in the fabricator. Take care, Beatrix. We'll be in touch. Okay, so this is a communication station. Not... Not the thing that I thought it was. Okay, nice to know. Um, and I guess it'll show like a little exclamation point when we are needed, when somebody is trying to communicate with us. Let's come on over here. Do we not have one of those now? Wait, what is this? Oh, another area to unlock. Okay, so this is another area that we can unlock. The archway in expansion. Um, and it looks like it's 1800 as well. We need to make some money. Okay, so this area over here looked like it wasn't blocked off. But it is blocked off. Okay, so th this is the place that we already checked out. The gully. So we have to pay to expand out that away. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and sleep one more time. And let's come over here and let's grab this water lettuce. And let's head on back to where that big, huge, big slime was. Our cotton slime. Cotton slime Gordo, I believe. And uh, let's see if we can pop him. Now, I don't think we're going to have enough of just the water lettuce to give to him. But on the way, yes, we're going to pick up some carrots. Or any other vegetables we come across. Refinery links. Links uh, conveniently tr transport resources and plorts to the refinery. Uh, I just got smacked. That's a tabby slime. Okay, so then it brings it to the science lab for us. How cool. Let's see. Um, I was so in over my head when I first started here. I remember hauling Jellystone back to the conservatory by hand just because I was so excited. Breathless and sweating, I was going about everything all wrong. But I was happy. There's little time now, so I'll need these refinery links if I'm going to be efficient. This time, I'm going to do it right. 
Okay. Oh, wait, there's a thing up here. Oh, how do I reach it? I don't know how I get up there. But that looks like it might unlock another another piece of the map for us, maybe? Yes, it will. Okay, let's see if we can get up there. Oh my goodness, we have unlocked Rainbow Fields. Or another part of Rainbow Fields. Okay, let's see. We need to make it back over to that Gordo. But what the heck is this over here? What is this glowing thing? Mushroom. Can't do anything with it. Okay. Okay, so we have a ref this refinery link right here. Let's go ahead and shoot some of these pink ports in there. Okay, that is good to know. Wait, does that refinery link... Yes, the refinery link actually shows on the map as well. So that will be good. Now I will know where to come back to. Oh my goodness, we got it to pop. What the heck is this? It's like a hole. Okay, no slime key, I don't think. I didn't see a slime key. Let's see, you guys want some of this? Give me your plorts. What the heck is this? Need to activate. What the heck was that? Okay, so it was always oh, like over here. Oh, it looks like it kind of unlocks an area for us to like jump across, maybe? I don't know. Oh my gosh, it looks so cool though. Okay, let's head on back out of here. And where was that refinery link at? I am going to shoot some of these things in there. I know I needed cotton plorts for something and probably gonna need lots of pink plorts, I would assume. Oh my goodness, we found another one. Oh, this is like near our house too. What is this dude? He's a phosphor gordo. So he likes fruit. I don't have any fruit on me, but now he shows up on the map, which is amazing. So now we can bring fruit to him and we can pop him. But that's actually going to end it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for coming out and checking out this brand new game with me. I am super excited to see where it takes us and super excited to see the updates to come. Like I said, this game is available right now on Steam and Epic, um, as well as I believe Xbox. I actually think it's available with Game Pass as well. So if you want to check it out, use the links down below. If you end up going through Epic Games, it would be very much appreciated if you use creator code Mrs. Period Z1. It does help out the channel. It just shoots a little bit back to me for showing you this awesome game. And it is very much appreciated. As always, if you have any tips or tricks for me, please leave them down in the comments below. And um, I try to read all the comments. I try to respond to a majority of the comments um, if they need a response. But we'll have to see what happens next time. I think next time, next episode, we are definitely going to have to go and get the upgrade. I think we have our first upgrade to start getting some like that liquid that was shooting up. I don't know if that was water or oil as well as the, those rocks. And then we'll be able to shoot those into the refinery so we can start making some more things as well. And um, we found our first new slime. Now we found several slimes that are like new to us in this game. But I think the first slime that we found that's actually new in Slime Rancher 2 that's not in Slime, Mar Slime Rancher 1 is these little cotton guys. And they are so cute. I love them. 
Um, definitely want to try and keep all of the new slimes, at least over at our place. I know eventually we're going to have to like start breeding them together so we can make Largos. And then, yeah, should be some exciting stuff. Also going to try and pop that phosphor slime next time. And maybe check out this area right here so we can hop over to this new island. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. But thank you guys once again, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye, everybody.